Alright, so I might have the wrong shirt on me, but don't worry. Hi guys and welcome to a competitive card review for Valentine Dean of the Vein, a one black man legendary vampire warlock. And for Lisette Dean of the Root, a four mana cost green human druid. So how this works is that this is the front face that this card will always have regardless of where it is. However, whenever you have the option of casting this card, you could choose to cast that version of it instead. But this card will have all the color identities of this card as well, meaning that this is a Golgari commander. However, I don't think that this is a good CDH commander at all. I only think this is going to appear inside a few specific 99s. Let's begin with looking at this card to really showcase what I mean. So, whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, and those creature gains trample until end of turn, and that is all you get. This is really casual in CDH eyes because it doesn't draw cards, it doesn't interact with anything your opponents are doing, it's 4 mana which is quite a lot. It is only having a cute overrun ability and that isn't something CDH are looking for at all. But the Valentine is actually quite interesting. It's a menace lifelink, so that's cute, it's a 1-1. One, one. If a non-token creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. And when you do, you may pay 2. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one black green pest creature token with whenever this creature dies, you gain 1 life. There is a bigger version of this, unoffensive the foremost, requiring Absan mana. Free mana is quite a lot more compared to one black mana only. However, Anafensa will exile every creature that hits the graveyard regardless of where they are coming from. Anafensa is clearly better. However, one black mana only is definitely attractive. Let me show you a little bit why. Here we have Yuriko Tiger Shadow. And yes, I know, Yuriko aren't really allowed to play this thing because this has the color identity of a green. However, I wanna make an example. Yuriko are looking for one CMC creatures that you can put into play turn one, preferably a 1-1 one -one flyer. Then attack with that and on turn two, activate the ninjutsu and gain some card value early in the game. And Valentine is spot on what Yuriko is somewhat looking for. It's a one mana cost creature with some form of evasion with menace, making it hard to block. And it is running around with a form of small interaction versus opponents. So I'm currently a little bit sad this doesn't work. It would be a good upgrade for Yuriko. So we need a commander that are interested in creatures that are usually hate bears that are attacking with some form of evasion and dealing combat damage to opponents. For example, Tumna. However, for Tumna to actually work, you have to have a color identity of green. So Tumna Thrasius. So this is a card for a Tumna Thrasius hate bear deck potentially. Or, well, Tumna Tana could also work. But I would definitely prefer this within Tumna Frasius because of Gaia's Cradle. So, the Valentine has an additional ability, which I would consider a bonus cute ability in general. However, it does synergize with Gaia's Cradle. If a creature dies, you can pay two mana, which is going to fuel your Gaia's Cradle, which is gonna make Frasius capable of activating more. But honestly, I don't think this card is going to see that much play inside Tumna Frasius either. It could pop up in some decks out there, but there is a much bigger commander that I think are going to play this quite frequently. Cissé, Weatherlight Captain are always looking for sheep legendary creatures with some hate bear interactive ability versus opponents. This is only affecting opponents by the way, which is actually a little bit cute. Now Cissé are also always looking for all forms of legendary stuff on CMC 1 or well CMC low would be the correct answer. However, CMC 1 are a rarity among legendary stuff. These are the current three one drop legendaries that are competing amongst themselves about who is going to go inside the CSA's deck. Now, there's a big debate between if Reese the Redeemed or Oath of Nyssa is the better one. Reese will make CC into a 4 4 but doesn't really do anything, while Oath of Nyssa it will make CC only to a 3 3, which is 
fine, but also will draw a card. You could view this as a ponder of some sort. However, Valentine is actually interacting in a decent way versus your opponents, but also being that one drop legendary. But also, and this is actually really important, and this comes from a lot of experience playing Cissé, that thing is black. Usually, your legendary stuff are white, blue, and green. And you want to reach the red and black a little bit more spread out. So this is indeed a great upgrade just for the fact that it is one drop black legendary. If that was it, it would probably see some frequent play. However, it got more. It has a small interaction, but it can also create tokens. And that is great because a core card inside Cise is Gaia's Cradle. Gaia's Cradle is a combo card inside Cise, requiring that you accumulate something around 5 plus amount of creatures. And this little hate bear that is producing pests yeah green and black pests are helping you reach that combo potential but in the end this is what i think would potentially happen regarding this creature i think a lot of cc players are going to collect it have it but not really play it okay a few people out there are definitely going to play it depending on their metagame but i don't think i'm going to put this inside my cc deck at the moment it might sneak in there and probably go out again in and out so to say the big reason is that this form of interaction is a little bit limited it does interact with some dockside loops or not really loops but people are often getting their dockside killed so they can reanimate it for more value and this vampire warlock will definitely fix that but it doesn't do anything versus Underworld Breach, which is the big reason why you usually play Kunorus inside Cissé. In the end, you might play both depending on your metagame. Kunorus is all around just better, but Valentine is just faster. Cissé can find Valentine as a 2-2, but she can only find Kunorus if she's a 4-4. Cissé is a toolbox deck. That means that you're usually collecting a lot of various cards to your Cissé collection, reaching a 200 sides deck, but then you switch cards in and out depending on your metagame, making Cissé really adaptive. And this is a great new tool for her. But also, sometimes this happens, and now Cissé has a further optional tool. Instead of casting the tiny little 1-1 one -one creature that has some cool interaction, you could cast this and start to gain some life to make your army, Cissé usually has an army running around with mana dorks, legendary hate bears, etc, etc. And you just try to overrun and go player removal on that person that is controlling that pesky opposition agent. Really happy to see this. I think I'm going to play it a bit. I'm going to test it a little bit here and there and just see how it feels like. I still think I'm going to play Oath of Nyssa inside the deck regardless. I actually think that is a decent legendary thing to have. But hey, people's opinions could vary on that. It is truly exciting to be a CC pilot these days. I'll see you around, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.